Tour Truck is out there to service the players. And also for us to get feedback from the best players in the world. We have the availability to build golf clubs in the four band. We're up. I always like to give the analogy of the NASCAR pit crew, if you will. That's kind of what we are. Make sure our guys are ready to play every week. It's a mobile workshop. We are there to be the service vehicle to give them the best equipment they can to play their best golf. We set up on Sundays. I got here probably 10 o'clock on Sunday. And then, you know, get everything ready. Monday morning, doors normally open at 7. We normally close when the range empties. We do that for three days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We pack up the truck and we head off to the next spot. The strength of TaylorMade's team is the relationships and just the knowledge that we all have. I'll work on the driver. Keith Savaro, quiet leader. He knows the players very well. He played at a very high level. He understands their, their language and exactly what they're looking for. He's got the trust of these players. Keith loves to work out. He's a workout maniac. You know, he's got to stop in the morning and get his, you know, rice cakes or whatever he eats throughout the day. The Liquor's strength is similar to Keith, quiet manager, but he's a really good motivator. And he runs non-stop with his shirt on. Then inside the truck, you have Wade and Henry. My estimation, Wade is probably the most respected and most reliable builder. He just tries to keep everyone in line. He's the mother hen, so he's constantly on the guys, trying to keep them clean and making sure the trailer is maintained. He drinks a lot of diet coke. Henry's strength is his work ethic. He works really hard and he takes pride in his job, and both of those guys do a great job of making the van a nice place to come for our staff players. All I did is smooth it. Thank you. You got it. Sean Mullen's strength is, he's from Canada, eh? So he teaches us a lot about hockey. There's tons of players in the PGA Tour that love hockey, so that's kind of his in with, with a lot of guys, I think. He's always on a diet. <laughs> guys constantly eating the fruit. You know, Sticky's big asset is his relationship with players and his relentlessness just to get out there and get these golf clubs to play. He wouldn't rather do anything else besides be a tour rep on the PGA Tour. And I guess when you live in a submarine for a couple of years, you uh, read a lot of books or something. But whatever you need to know, just ask Dicky. We have Todd Chu. He's a rep and also our uh, tour engineer, so he deals with a little more internally of getting all our products right. If something's not right on tour, it's kind of his fault, so he's got a lot of responsibility there. He does really good on keeping his calm and treating everyone fair. His hair, it doesn't move ever. So with those base of tour reps, they can come out, do a phenomenal job every week, travel on airplanes, and then go home to their families. And that kind of dynamic works for those guys. So we have a really good gel of a team. I'm working with the best players in the world in the sport I love the most. We're kind of a traveling circus out there sometimes. We spend more time with each other than we do our families at times. Well, you know, our tour van is definitely the coolest one out here. It's all custom made, so we get a lot of public guys driving by, waving the tailor-made hats at us. If, you know, they would pull over at the same exit or truck stop as me. You know, me and Henry always carry about three dozen hats in the cab. You know, when you get pulled over by those cops or you get stuck at the way station, you couldn't imagine how far a hat would take you. We're six to eight grown men working in a confined space so 35 Big weeks brand. a year, so everyone has to get along. There isn't a single guy on our team that needs direction or management. We're all self-motivated. We all know the equipment. I could do Sean's putter job, he could do my wedge job, and vice versa. The respect we have out on tour is, I think, is okay. at the pinnacle yeah, of what it can possibly be. What I've seen traveling the world and the people I've been around and the dinners I've had, you just you couldn't pay for it. One reason we have so many clubs in play is the players trust us. A certain player might value my opinion or Keith's opinion more than themselves. And that's where that trust level is built from how we react with those guys.